Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston. And I've only been home from the road for about a week or so. And if you remember when I was on the road, I made a video and I was talking about this. I'm pulled over right now. I had to make something to eat. I just passed into another time zone. You see that? Mountain house, baby. I don't stop at fancy restaurants. Speaking of mountain house, the word has just come out that wise foods... Wise makes freeze, they make freeze dried survival prepper food. And it just came out that they are handing over all their customers' names and information to the government. Now, that bummed a lot of people out. Now, if you followed me since the beginning of the channel, you know that I use this stuff all the time. So, what can you do? Check this out. These, these guys actually follow my channel. And I talk to the owner, and they don't give up your information whatsoever at all. Not only that, they've hooked up all my subscribers with this special website. And this works out really well. You get a two-week food kit to get you started. They're available right now for 75 bucks when you go to this website right here. These food kits from Patriot Supply include meals that last up to 25 years in storage for real. Breakfast, lunch, and dinners, and they ship them discreetly. So, link will be in the description. You guys asked, here's the answer. It worked out really, really well. Grown and packed in the USA, 25-year guarantee for real. And these guys aren't some enormous corporations. They're your fellow subscribers. At any rate, Richie from Boston check this out. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston. It's the 27th. It's March. It's 2019. And I was working on my vehicle yesterday and helping my neighbor out. My neighbor, I don't even know how to explain him. I He was what I would consider was a hippie. And I don't really necessarily get along with hippies all too well. It's just not in my nature. But it turns out I'm kind of a hippie. I just didn't realize it. I love nature. I love outdoors. If I'm in the middle of nowhere and I see trash, I'll put it in my pockets and carry it out. I don't dig patchouli. I don't dig the people at Whole Foods, so forth and so on. But his wife gave him a gift certificate to a, a primitive skills class. And I was helping my neighbor yesterday make a fire with two sticks, you know, the bow. The stick on the ground, no matches. It was badass, and it worked, and I got it all on video. And yesterday, I just wasn't feeling it. Like, I don't go looking for topics. Topics come to me. When I make a video, it's because it came to me. You can believe that or not. It's your call. It doesn't matter. So, there's that. So, at any rate, <clears throat> I wake up this morning. I'm looking through Twitter. And I came across this. This is just ridiculous, man. Seriously, people need to open up their minds and understand what's going on because we are under a huge mind F. NASA extracts $52 million a day from American taxpayers. And this is what they give you in return. Tweets. NASA loves tweeting. NASA tweets more than a Britney Spears fan than Donald J. Trump on crack cocaine. It doesn't matter. NASA stays tweeting. They tweet all the time. We're going forward to the moon with humans. We are expanding our presence in the solar system by building and testing powerful rockets to advance human innovation. Join us in our moon to Mars pursuit. Okay, well, here's the video. We will go forward to the moon with humans. Well, hey guys, did you forget the fact that you already told us you went to the moon numerous times? Do you know what I'm saying? It absolutely freaks me out that they're talking about going to the moon and then going to Mars like it's no big deal. If you haven't been to the moon since the 60s, that's the story. If you haven't been to the moon since the 60s, do not tell people that you're simply going to Mars like it's no big deal. It's absolutely, completely, and totally laughable. And I believe they're waiting for the last of us, people in our age categories, to die off so they can simply claim they never went to the moon or and something like that. Do you know what I'm saying? The problem with this entire story is 
There's so much fakery. There's so much bullshit. Using lessons learned in Earth orbit, we're going to figure out how to get to the moon. Do you see what I'm saying? Using lessons learned in Earth Earth orbit, we're going to learn how to go to the moon. Well, what about the times you went to the moon? Do you see what I'm saying? These guys are slowly, slowly, slowly releasing the information that they never went up whatsoever at all because they can't. Here's an article right here from the Discover magazine, and it's from 2012, July 9th, 2012, and they were talking about bad astronomy. The 50th anniversary of Starfish Prime, the nuke that shook the world. 50 years ago today, the United States detonated a nuclear weapon high above the Pacific Ocean, designated Starfish Prime. It was part of a dangerous series of high-altitude nuclear bomb tests at the height of the Cold War. Its immediate effects were felt for thousands of kilometers. Blah, 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 blah. But you know what they were really doing? Do you know what the entire thing was? NASA, newly discovered NASA, and Russia were trying to blow a hole in the firmament. Do you see what I'm saying? That's what all this was. That's what all this is. That's why the story keeps changing. The lessons we learned in low Earth orbit. Well, if I was taking $52 million a day from people, I wouldn't say the lessons I was learning in low Earth orbit I'm going to use to get back to the moon. I'd say the lessons that we learned from the six times that we went to the moon, we're going to do better. But none of it's true. None of it's true. None of it's true. None of it's true. Check this out. There's a wave, no way. Yeah, watch this. Oh, with the waves just breaking, you see that. Oh, man, look at it. That is amazing. So what are you looking at? You're looking at a deep, deep under the ocean lake. Do you see what I'm saying? They discovered this by accident while filming for Deep Earth or Blue Earth or one of those Discovery Channel shows where they show you things. This mysteriously disappeared. This shows that under the waters, there's more waters. Do you follow what I'm saying? All of this is fake. This isn't real. NASA was completely, entirely, and wholly staffed by captured Nazis, the alleged bad guys, the guys that were doing the worst things to other people, no matter what you think the story is, in Germany and on the other side of the war. You know what I'm saying? Listen to this. Check this out. And people still think it's a complete conspiracy theory. They're out with it. They don't care. Do you see what I'm saying? This is the Central Intelligence Agency's website. Do you see what I mean? And if you'll notice, here's another strange little thing I just happened to stumble upon. Notice Werner von Braun's name is well known among those during the Apollo moon landing. This is the Central Intelligence Agency. That's how you spell Werner von Braun. Just a little side note. Apparently, that's how you spell it now. Now, over the years, I've referred to this numerous times because on the father of the rocket's headstone is Psalm 19.1, and I've referred to it dozens of times. But if you look now, there's suddenly an H there. And if you look at his headstone, can you not see that this looks exactly like these have been tampered with? This isn't a perfect symmetrical straight line. See it? It just isn't. These are. These aren't. Mandela effect or somebody messing with history? Werner von Braun. There was no H in his name. There never was. But I digress. Quickly, let's check this out one more time. This is Psalm 19-1. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Well, that's not the accurate one. Let's find the real one. Nasser is nothing but smoke and mirrors. This is Psalm 19.1, King James Version. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Long story short, 
this is the government behind everything. This is the Germans. We're living in the Fourth Reich. These guys are taking $52 million a day. Let's see what that looks like. Five, two, one, two, three, four, five, six times 365. That's how much money these guys are extracting from the American taxpayer a year. For what? For a Twitter account? For a Facebook account? To put up stupid videos like this where they're literally stepping on their own dicks and screwing this up? Using lessons learned in in low Earth orbit? Well, that's the wrong terminology, man. Using lessons learned the last six times we went to the moon a long time ago. But we don't go anymore because we handed it off to China. Absolute total bullshit. Total entire complete steaming piles of bullshit and for all those people that are going to tell me all the space things and all the things they've got master's degrees in and associate's degrees and doctorates studying and regurgitating bad information just gives you a master's degree in bullshit mo